Have you ever wondered why containers do not fall off ships in transit? Quite a puzzler, isn't it? A colossal vessel slicing through turbulent waves, stacked high with enormous metal containers, yet they remain stationary, almost as if glued to the ship's deck. Some might attribute it to gravity or sheer weight, but these are mere pieces of the puzzle. The true secret lies in the world of container securing devices, a realm often overlooked, yet paramount to global shipping. These devices, as mundane as they may sound, are the unsung heroes that keep our goods safe and secure on their ocean-spanning journey. From twist locks to lashing bars, these humble tools are the backbone of maritime logistics, ensuring our morning coffee beans reach us from halfway around the globe, keeping the wheels of commerce in perpetual motion. So, are you ready to embark on this journey of discovery? Stay tuned as we delve into the world of shipping to uncover the science behind the stability of containers on ships. So, what keeps these massive containers from toppling overboard during a storm or rough seas? You see, it all comes down to a beautiful blend of engineering and physics. Let's dive into the captivating science of securing these multi-ton behemoths. First, let's talk about twist locks. These are small but mighty mechanisms that play a vital role in securing containers. Think of them as the glue that holds this gigantic puzzle together. They are cylindrical devices with a twisting top that locks containers in place. Positioned at the four corners of each container, they are used to fasten the containers together, creating a solid structure that can resist the forces of the ocean. But twist locks alone can't do the job. Enter lashing bars. These are long metal rods that are used in conjunction with twist locks to secure the containers even more rigidly. They are attached diagonally from the top of one container to the bottom of the adjacent one, forming a crisscross pattern. This pattern adds an extra layer of stability, preventing the containers from swaying side to side or front to back. Now let's shift gears and talk about weight distribution and stacking. Imagine you're building a tower of blocks. You wouldn't place the heaviest block on top, would you? Of course not. You'd place it at the bottom to create a solid foundation. The same principle applies to stacking containers. The heaviest containers are placed at the bottom, while the lighter ones go on top. This lowers the center of gravity, making the stack more stable. Moreover, containers are not just stacked haphazardly. They are arranged in a precise order based on their weight and size, ensuring maximum stability and safety. This meticulous stacking helps to evenly distribute the weight, minimizing the risk of tipping over. But here's the catch. These are not just theoretical principles. They are practical tools used every day in shipping ports around the world. Whether it's a calm day at sea or a tempest is brewing, these principles hold true. Now you might be thinking this is all well and good, but how do these principles apply in a real world setting? The art of container stacking is more than just a game of Tetris. Indeed, this seemingly simple task is a complex blend of science and strategy. Picture a massive ship brimming with containers. How do they all stay put even in the roughest seas? The answer lies in the principles of weight distribution and securing devices. In the world of container stacking, balance is everything. The heaviest containers are placed at the bottom, while lighter ones find their home on top. This creates a center of gravity low enough to maintain the ship's stability, even when Mother Nature throws a curveball. But that's not all. Each container's position is carefully planned out in a stowage plan, a sort of blueprint for stability. These plans consider factors like the container's weight, contents, and destination, ensuring a secure and balanced stack. Securing devices, like twist locks and lashing bars, also play a crucial role. They interlock the containers, creating a unified, solid structure that can withstand the high seas. So the next time you see a ship carrying containers, know that there's a lot more to it than meets the eye. Securing containers is not just about preventing them from falling overboard. It's a game of balance and precision that's crucial for safety, economy, and the environment. Let's start with safety. Improperly secured containers can shift during transit, posing a serious risk to the crew and the ship itself. A sudden shift in weight can capsize a vessel, leading to disastrous consequences. On the economic front, imagine the financial loss if a container full of precious cargo tumbles into the ocean. It's not just about the loss of goods, but also the cost of recovery efforts, insurance claims, and the impact on delivery schedules. And let's not forget the environment. Lost containers can cause significant harm to marine life. The containers themselves, and the potential pollutants they carry, can devastate delicate ecosystems. So there you have it. The mystery of the unmoving containers solved. Until next time, keep questioning the world around you.